All right, so here's where we're at. Um, I used a whole bottle of Gorilla Glue. Uh, I was looking for some epoxy, and the epoxy that I have is was in a little tube. Let's see if I can find it. I think I already threw it away. But it was in a it was in a little tube. It's actually two tubes next to each other. You push it together, and it mixes together, and all that stuff. Well, just one of those was like five bucks. I knew I had a whole bunch of this I had to do. Um, so, and it took way longer than I thought. But as you can see, all the little, these were just all the, like the little knot holes that actually had like pieces of wood missing or whatever. I filled it all in uh, like something like this. It had a knot that actually broke out on the side so there'd be like a, a, a chip coming out of the side so I put a tape over there and put that on top and hopefully that'll just prolong it a little bit longer than if I didn't do anything at all so now I just got to come back uh, cut cut the top surface off and you can kind of see it's still a little, uh, little pliable I don't know if that's just the, the way it is but uh, anyways, I do it on all of these. I ripped out uh, pretty much all these, and they have a they have that uh, that centerpiece right here, and they didn't have any they didn't have any screws going down into it. So I may just go back through there and and run screws uh, run screws through it. I don't know why not, but. Anyways, uh, I'm coming back through. I already washed, got the water hose out and washed along the sides. Um, there's a whole bunch of dirt and stuff that just got in between the wood and the and the frame. But I'm coming in with uh, just your drill and just your drill and your wire wheel. And then I'll go over the whole the whole frame with that um, as you can see this some of it's kind of bad it's not it's all surface rust so just come back through there and knock all that off um, and then just put some paint on it to prolong and keep it from rusting anymore but I uh, I think I still need to, to wait a little bit on some of these but uh, um, I had some of them, like this one. This had a whole knot that went all the way through. So I put some tape on the bottom to keep it from coming out. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, see, it's still gooey. So we'll put that back. <laughs> so we still got, I guess we still got a while for this to, to finish. Uh, but I still have to, I still have to put the water, I mean the, yeah, the water resistant stuff, I don't forget what it's called, not the Thompson's water seal, but that other stuff that I got on that other video I showed you. Anyways, uh, that's where I'm at so far, it's just taking way long, I did that this morning and it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon now, so, anyways. Hopefully I can get it done by next weekend. I have a brush hog job I got to do then, so hopefully I can get it knocked out by then. And it's supposed to rain later on in the week, so. All right, so we got a huge fail going on. Um, well, you can see all these little bubbles, <laughs> pockets. I don't think I did this wrong. I mean, I followed the directions and stuff. I'm just getting a razor blade. Off that way, come back. But you can see all those little voids. So basically, what I'm going to do, come back in here, get a sander, uh, sand all these down, 
and then come back with some wood glue and fill in those little voids. Probably what I should have done in the first place. But you win some, lose some. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to take me way longer. All right, so I got it. Uh, the surface rust knocked off. Put a really thin, thin coat of uh, black spray paint and I ran out. So I'm going to put some more down. Uh, can't really tell on this. Uh, let's go around here. But anyways, I ran out of black spray paint, which usually, usually I, I always have black spray paint, but not this time. So I ran out, got to go run, run to the store and grab some more. Uh, I think I'm done for the day. I think the only other thing I might do is come back and knock all of this off, which I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do that. I might just come with a hatchet and hopefully it doesn't pull itself out of the <laughs> spot it was in. That would suck. Um, or I might just come in with a razor blade and cut it off. Uh, or sandpaper, sand it down. I don't know. So uh, once I do that, I'll get back with you. And yeah, I'll get back with you after that. It'll probably be a couple days. And I'll probably already have the, the uh, water sealant on there so it's a thing called time it's oh it's about four o'clock now there's just no time uh waiting for all that to dry and everything so anyways get back with you all right y'all comment right so yeah